from uh, Scrub and Silence's birthday party. So we're, they're playing in Omaha. We're going to go surprise them and do manly stuff. <laughs> checkers. Checkers. Yeah, probably checkers. Or chess. I'm a checkers man. I'm chess a double jumper. Chess too <laughs> you try that in chess, they won't, you know. Get kicked out every time. Get out of here. Things will get a really wild one about the twister. <laughs> naked twister. Naked twister. Yeah. Naked twister. Yeah. Naked twister. Yeah. yeah, but when it's a sausage fest, that really That's why it's a sausage fest. That's what it's a sausage fest. It gets a lot it's more tough. competitive. Yeah. <laughs> elbows, elbows in men's naked twister will happen. Okay, yeah. hey, that touched my knee. This meeting is way off subject. We're supposed to be talking about, like, what are we supposed to be talking about? Uh, you're hitting on it. You're hitting on it. <laughs> so, you guys are doing a fireworks festival right now. And uh, you guys had a great story about a fireworks show you did last year. Poor Boy Palooza. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Boy Palooza. I, I gotta hear the story again. Just um, so you know, we're trying to go back this year. Oh, we I had such a great I'm time. I'm pretty sure it's happening. Uh, we had such a great time. Like, it, this wasn't like a negative yeah, story or anything. It's a great story. It's a hilarious well, we, we First, we get approached about uh, doing this show in um, Olivehill, Kentucky. Olive Hill. Olive Hill. So we're like, oh, alright, let's go cool. back there. We're like, that's cool, man, we'll do it. And we, we get there and we're like, holy crap, this is like, our kind of place. Like, we're from Redneck. 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 Dude, I brought in two flatbed trailers, built this, not like, not, not stood up holding the ground. He built this, yeah. like, over and awning over it, two by four frame. <laughs> and, and, and it just, and it looked down over this pool that was lit up with, um, palm tree dildos and stuff in it. It was weird. <laughs> um, she got crazy. <laughs> yeah. But we're, uh, we played, we actually played twice that night. We did an acoustic set, yeah. uh, just like some covers and stuff, and then we, because we had nothing better to do. And then we did our set. They did uh, fireworks in between that, but they spent like forty thousand dollars, something like that, on uh, it was retail forty thousand dollars of fireworks. And about I don't know halfway through it, the uh, <laughs> one, one, one of the cans just went like that. And, she went <laughs> and the guy laid everything off, just like knocked it all over. You see the woods light up, and we're all. Like, oh, <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be happening like that <laughs> at all. And they, they call the cops beforehand and they're like, all right, we're throwing this big party. You're probably going to get noise points. Like, they, they warn them ahead of time. Like, they just know it's coming. And the cops leave them alone and everything. And it's, it was... So it was meanwhile, you got this big fire on with no cops showing up. There. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we basically told them we, we, were, we were good. <laughs> we've got this under control. We're going to govern ourselves. We're going to govern ourselves. <laughs> we're Luxembourg right now. And see what happens. Welcome to Prince Hort. Do that. You know, like, <laughs> things get, it's one of those hold my beer and watch this sort of shit. Yeah, Dude, <laughs> that's the point. It was that, and then there was like a, a royal rumble out of the parking lot area. Yeah, and while they were brawling, like the owner was like, take anything you want, man. Just take everything. We just drink. Like, we got trash shit. bags full of like, canned drink. can drinks. <laughs> and just, I mean, <laughs> the trays that are this big full of chicken. Yeah, like, big metal. Big metal catering trays. We didn't even unload them. We just grabbed them. <laughs> you know, it says take everything. That includes well, the silverware. Yeah, so it says free food. Or we take man. free food. That's right. Take that's it all. Right. I'm trying to start his lawnmower, trying to put it in gear, get out of there with it. <laughs> well, and, and, you know, it's funny because people out there, they, they hear, uh, and you guys have played, how many dates last year did you play? 7,000. Uh, Bunch. <laughs> we, we've done, we've done yeah. over 400 since uh, December 27, 2011. Well, and all people hear is like the rock and roll lifestyle, and they think it's just awesome. What they don't hear is about the food, uh, you know, it's just pizza. What food? It needs to be I get pizza, one more GD in time. <laughs> no, well, I'm kidding, man. We'll eat pizza. Like, I never thought I'd get tired of saying uh, I hate pizza, but there's special spots around the United States yeah, we like our pizza. pizza. There, there are some places where we're like, we're like, what are we eating tonight? Pizza. Yes. We know we're eating, we know we're eating pizza. <laughs> so I got, I got to ask the bass player a question, because no one ever talks to bass players. Used no, to. No, Why no. is that? Why Next, question. Is that? Next question. Next question. <laughs> Next question. That's why. <laughs> They're all assholes. <laughs> Well, it's the same with the drum. There's a reason you don't give a drummer a microphone. Never, ever give a drummer a microphone. I say no when you can say yes! There's a couple of reasons they don't give me a microphone. Uh, what's your name, Wayne? <laughs> Take off your pants! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he said, now, he swore that you were going to get there out there in a thong and play your set. And I told him, what do I have to do to not make that happen? Oh, I mean, <laughs> you're a good looking guy. Well, I'll be honest. You ever seen him in a thong? Well, I don't want to. Just wait. You ever seen him in a thong? <laughs> That's that picture of that. Or he's one of those guys. You see that part coming out of that shirt right there? My mama gave me a sweater. Mama gave me a sweater. I came through your mom, huh? Well, well every, it says she left something out. Yeah. I don't know what happened. So you guys got a sophomore album that you're working on right We're now? We're working on it right now. We're, um, we're hoping to be able to go in uh, actually a lot sooner than we had anticipated going into the sophomore. I don't know, I call it sophomore years. 
Anyways. Well, for you, that'd be recurring eight years of hospital. No, we're really excited because uh, we were talking about earlier, or I was talking about somebody. We, we went into the studio doing our first album, not really knowing what we were doing, and, you know, we we changed, we evolved. We, our album got produced. I mean, and it's, it's that's what a producer's job is, is to push us. And he pushed us as an outside person, you know, totally unbiased and, uh, you need to do this, you need to fix this, you need to make this. And it really changed the way we think, and now we're, we're, we're in the writing process for the new album. You can tell light years of difference as far as like what we're already starting at. So I'm really excited to see, because we went in the studio here, we came out here, and you know, we've obviously evolved a little bit since we came out of the studio. So we know we're going back in, at least at this level, and we're really excited. Some of the subject matter is a lot more mature. Um, you know, uh, I've been listening to some of David's guitar parts, and. They're, they're pretty nasty. Adam's got some really good ideas. Lee and I were working together on his drum fills the other day, and he's just, he's excited. You can tell Stuff's he's getting excited. fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and you bring up, there, there's big differences, and a great producer makes an album. Absolutely. I'm a firm believer of that. Now, as you guys as songwriters and as musicians, what do you think is the number one biggest change from pre-producer to post-producer? I think it's your way of thinking, honestly. Yeah. Like, I think that's the biggest change. As far change. as... <laughs> If you can go in with an just as a sponge, open mind, just take in, uh, just take everything in, just take everything in, because I've never been in that situation where I'm sitting beside behind somebody. He's got gold records behind his head while we're recording this album, so it's kind of hard not to to just you know just tap you don't know what you're talking about. about. Try to take everything <laughs> in because you're dumb. You know, we, <laughs> We think we know everything, but we, we obviously don't. So. Yeah, well, these these songs are, I mean, these are kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they, they actually were in the studio, uh, they were there a couple days before I was, I flew in, um, pretty much at the end of drum track, so, like, I had no input on what was going on drums, which sucks, because, I mean, it's, those were my, my babies right there, and uh, I was I was really happy with that, and it was it was tough for me to, I just, I stay out of the control room a lot, I'm staying up there with them, and I just go ahead and play back at the end of the day, and, and say what I liked and what I didn't like because I mean for seven, eight, fifteen hours a day somebody's going, This sucks. This sucks, you're horrible. Get it out of here. Play it again. You yeah, never play it again. It sounds play good. It. What could you do better? Yeah. <laughs> that was my, I hated that. It's what just, can I do better? Ask me one more time, Justin. Ask me one more time. Those last three takes were perfect. Play it again. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Make it tight. I need to feel it. I need to feel it. I think I hated the songs before you even put them on the CD. Alright, favorite town? You've played it so far? Oh, I gotta be man. honest with you, Casper, Wyoming. Yeah. And this is not because we're sitting here, but we have been all over this country and everywhere. David has the same. This is a gorgeous town. Southern hospitality. Now, we have not experienced that outside of the South, but as soon as we got into Casper, man, like everybody's just been super polite. I mean, it's a really clean town, it's not very human. Um, Scenery. People are amazing here, so I mean, we were up on Rotary Park and we started to take a wrong turn and the guy automatically corrected us, just was on the trail. He was like, you know, he was like, are, are you trying to go down? We're like, yeah. He's like, oh, you need to go down this way. He goes, you guys aren't from around here. I was like, we're from North Carolina. He goes, welcome to Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's right. That's, that's right. cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys, I know you got a busy plate. Uh, uh, you know, you got a busy plate going, and uh, obviously you guys are touring like mofos right now. Mofos. So thank you very much for mofos. taking time to come by and see you. I mean, you yeah, yeah, to drive eight or nine hours just to get 12, here. Twelve. 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 All right, so you have grandma driving. All right. Twelve. Twelve. No, and then you, then you got to get right back to where you were, which is Omaha, Nebraska. So you guys are driving. had a great time on the road. I would say break a leg. I hate that saying because we actually. I feel like crap. So. Dude, we appreciate it. We appreciate uh, Rock 967 for uh, supporting us and everything, man. Spinning the singles and stuff like that and bringing us out here. Dude. Whatever we can talk about the music. You know? yeah, we're very, we're, we're also fan, we're uh, fan, websites, fan. Facebook, social media. Anotherlostyear.com, David. Anotherlostyear.com. Yeah. Um, Anotherlostyear.com. <coughs> Anotherlostyear.com. Alright, add them again because Rookie doesn't get to say anything. I was like, you let him know. Rookie, you just hit Facebook, Twitter, Wait, Instagram, so, Google, so everything, Take us home. Everywhere. Take us home. Can, can, can you talk to him for a minute? Talk. Tell him where they can find us. Let's fix your hair first. <laughs> tell, him where, tell him where they can find us, baby. The rat is running out. And that's why I'm going to let you That's it. Alright, you guys. Great show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great time. Bye, Facebook. <laughs> West Moreland is actually behind the camera right now. <laughs> hey, Wes. Why are these chairs so heavy? <laughs>